Hello everybody and welcome back to a much overdue vlog. Now then, what has prompted this I hear you ask? And of course it's the, it's the celebratory news uh, which has sent the world into a delirium of joy and that of course is that Obama has been awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. Um, out of sight of camera there are people I can see holding candles in the air, chanting verses of John Lennon's Imagine. And with them, I would like to um, raise a glass to the great man who is, of course, uh, thoroughly deserving of the honour bestowed upon him. Yes, I know the right-wing conspiracy blogosphere um, will suggest that he doesn't deserve it. They'll say that the weenie liberals in the uh, Nobel Commission have done this merely to annoy George W. Bush um, and uh, that's what they would say. I think they're wrong. Oh yes, I think that Obama thoroughly deserves this. After all, look at the work he's put into cultivating friendships with the likes of the tyrant Putin, the tyrant Chavez, the monster, um, the monsters rather, in the uh, Tehran administration. Look at the pressure he's put on those little upstarts in, uh, in Israel. Look at how he's betrayed the Poles and the Czechs. Let's be clear, Obama deserves this. And um, I think that the, um, the, uh, the Nobel Commission knew exactly what they were doing. Perhaps my only complaint is that it's overdue. In my opinion, he should have received this last year. It's outrageous that a man, well, perhaps more than a man, uh, of his stature should have to be in office for 11 days before such an honour can be deemed worthy of him. Um, so I'm very happy about this, uh, this development. And it augurs well uh, for everyone who dislikes the uh, idea of a strong, independent and powerful United States of America. Whoops. Anyway, uh, it's, it's not just, you know, uh, across the pond that there's change in the air. Um, there's change in the air here in the UK as well. We've gone through the um, party political season, conference season, and that's been uh, quite entertaining. Um, the Labour uh, Party conference was uh, was very good. Well, to call it a conference was per is perhaps the wrong word. Perhaps an extended week. After all, this party is destined for the exit door come the general election. So it was a last hurrah. It was essentially the new Labour project being embalmed in the form of uh, Gordon Brown and with Peter Mandelson acting as both the man who gave birth to new Labour and ultimately as the undertaker of new Labour. Now, there's an irony for you. But of course, as the socialists leave the scene, one has to consider what have they achieved over the past 12 years in the UK. And I think there's a simple checklist that we can, uh, we can review. The UK economy is essentially uh, bankrupt. Uh, tick, that's a result. The uh, UK uh, borders have been essentially dismantled so that anybody who wants to can come in or go out, no problem. Another result. The constitutional integrity of the United Kingdom has been decimated care of the appalling ill-thought-out devolution plans put in place by Emperor Blair. Another good result. And um, let's see what else we've got. We've uh, managed to turn the UK into global welfare center, central. So from all around the world, colorful people come, certain that they will get handouts here, care of the taxpayer, that they wouldn't get anywhere else. Um, all this has happened under the wise and knowing gaze of Gordon Brown, um, the man who was chancellor for um, whatever it was, 10 of the last 12 years, and whose period as prime minister um, has been, well, remarkable by, I guess, any standards. Of course, Labour aren't quite ready to leave the scene just yet. It's very important that they hang on by their nails, uh, just in time for the uh, Lisbon uh, Treaty to become um, institutionalised, therefore achieving their, their, their greatest result of all, namely 
the UK being sidelined from having any say in the creation of the EU SSR. What, so it's been, a, it's been a great 12 years for, uh, for Labour. It's been 12 years of hard labour for those of us who um, take a patriotic interest in the preservation of our, uh, our, our nation state. But of course all bad things come to an end. And thus it is that we face the prospect of a Conservative government coming to power. That will happen um, May or June of next year. And so we've had the Conservative Party conference with David Cameron, the man who would be king. Uh, well, he settled for Prime Minister. Um, he gave a good speech. So did George, George Osborne, the uh, wannabe uh, Chancellor of the Exchequer. And I suppose there are certain things that I find that uh, I do like about what they said. The only problem is that I'm a Conservative and they're not. Well, not really. I mean, yes, they want to roll back the big state, but I'm not sure how far they want to roll it back. Not, not as far as perhaps it becomes discernible, I suspect. And, you know, they didn't talk about the big elephant in the room, namely the European Union. Not a lot of talk about that. Some kind of vague... Um, suggestions about what might or what might not be possible and such is the political way and so my problem is that I think the um, you know the Labour the Labour Party is a disaster um, it's left the Conservatives with a, a absolute uh, scorched earth to inherit and they're going to find life very difficult in the next couple of years that said of course I wish uh, an incoming Conservative administration well um, and uh, perhaps David Cameron will, Cameron will have more steel than he shows, but I don't think so. Um, there again, George Osborne has perhaps shown a little bit of metal in recent days, so one never knows. And then, of course, moving from the, uh, the, Europe, the UK scene here into little Northern Ireland, we have the sight of the Brothers Grimm, Peter and Martin, um, pretending to have handbags at dawn over whether policing and justice will be devolved or not. But of course, it will. It's just a con. It's a game for the cameras where the two uh, co-first ministers uh, pretend to argue and fight, when in fact we know that um, the provosts will have their way and the DUP will go along with it because they love being in power. And again, come the general election next year, one can only hope that they get a thoroughly bloody nose at the ha when the Unionist electorate finally get to pass judgment on Mr. Robinson and his merry band. Of course, because that's going to happen, the next uh, number of months will be um, presented as uh, the DUP acting tough, getting millions of pounds for the uh, Northern Ireland electorate. Even as the economy goes southwards, uh, metaphorically speaking, I should add, and um, unemployment reaches uh, uh, oh, um, historical highs. Uh, once again, we, we, we see the, the obvious uh, fact that, you know, we don't need a storm of assembly. And truthfully, be it in the US, be it in the UK, or be it here in Northern Ireland, we really need very little in the way of politicians. And we certainly need v virtually nothing in terms of their interference in our daily lives. Um, but then that's just me being, um, uh, I guess, perhaps somewhat uh, unusual in my eccentric views, thinking that the individual might know better than the state. Okay, so what else to talk about? Well, I guess the, uh, the, the, the other thing to let you know is that in a couple of weeks' time, I'm going to be flying across to the U.S., uh, first to New York, New York City, to Gotham itself, um, and then onwards to Las Vegas. Um, so hoping to have a get-together with a few Tangled Web regulars when it's in um, New York City, and uh, I'll update you on that, uh, possibly on my return. However, if I have a very good run in Vegas, you may never see me again. Um, I may have to um, uh, pay someone to uh, do this for me on the basis that um, I can probably find other things to occupy my time, having won gazillions of dollars uh, at the, um, the tables in Vegas. Then again, 
given the decline in the US dollar, maybe that won't be that worth that much after all. So um, that's going to be it from me basically. The site will continue to buzz for the next couple of weeks. I sincerely hope that my fellow writers on Tangle Web will keep it busy whilst I am uh, away. And uh, I look forward to speaking to you again directly sometime in November when I uh, return from the other side of the pond. So uh, finally, having toasted Obama, of course, I feel obliged to toast you, dear reader. Thank you for your uh, continued patronage of the site. I, I do appreciate it. And um, uh, I hope to speak with you and see you again soon. Thanks for stopping by.